Hey, I'm Jake! And look, I... I need to be honest with you. Um, I need to be honest about, about who I am. <laughs> I don't even know who I am. Uh, I lay in bed, <laughs> just laying there staring at the ceiling, wondering who I am, what I am. And, you know, I'm, I am a turtle.org, which is a dong. Something you can do online now, guys. Simulator.cnow.org is not only a long URL, but also an interesting way to experience what it's like to have an eye condition. Type in a familiar address and then choose between cataracts, glaucoma, and more. Let's look at glaucoma, which is often caused by pressure inside the eye from imbalanced production and drainage of fluid. You can see how your sight is narrowed and peripheral vision is blurred. But hopefully you're seeing sharp so you can look at a bear's eye view of Yellowstone with this interactive experience. Scroll down for this video that introduces you to what a bear's life is like. Food definitely is the main aspect of a bear's life. Then scroll further to this map that has markers with videos and explanations of things like this cannibalistic bear. Apparently it's eating this other bear because they were attracted to the same food source. And I can only hope to find such compatibility with someone, ladies. Now let's change perspective from a bear's eye to a camera lens with dolly zoom. Which can be explained by this totally random guy that I found in a trash can. Notice that when zooming, the distant album grows and shrinks right along with the mug. Now, if you move in while zooming out, or vice versa, the zoom will be most apparent when looking at distant things, while the move more apparent on near things. The second description is the dolly zoom. You can play around with it here. To see Dolly and Zoom separately, click DZ. If you move the slider next to Dolly, you will see the effect of moving the camera back and forth on visual perception. Same with Zoom, but this time it appears that the background and foreground are growing and shrinking at the same rate. Click DZ again to see a combination of the two techniques and get a little bit of the vertigo effect. If you want to learn more about cameras, go to shortbooks.co, where you can type in a subject for suggested readings. But this site understands that you don't have all day, so it tells you the amount of time it will take to read each book. It also gives you its opinions on whether that's too long or not, but you can decide for yourself because you are an independent person. All right, enough reading. It's time for interactive statistics of rolling dice. This is something that comes up in life a lot, and aren't you tired of doing the math? For example, if you roll two dice and you want to know the probability of getting a sum of, let's say, seven, you'll have to write it all out. One plus six, two plus five, four plus three. Oh, I don't have enough oxygen in my lungs to keep going. Do you? But with this demo, you can select the number of dice and then click roll. Every time you'll notice the bar graph adjusting. For example, if you roll six dice six times, you probably won't get the same sum twice. But the more you roll, the more you'll see these middle values increase in comparison to the outer ones. Now, what are your chances of going to inthesky.org? 100% because I just made you. Ha <laughs> ha! But I didn't really make you, you can still not go there. This was recommended to Dong, and it lets us see a live map of where it is daytime, twilight, or nighttime. Hover over a location on the map, and it will indicate whether it's night or day. Clicking will show you the altitude of the sun as seen from that location. The red lines show us where the sun is setting or rising, and the sun icon represents where it is directly overhead. You can also adjust the date and time. Well, in Los Angeles right now, it's nighttime, so good night. Just kidding! I just said it to that time, but it's actually daytime because I'm a horrible liar. Now it's time to listen to music that the weather chooses. What does that mean? Thanks for asking. Let's find out! On Climatune, Spotify partnered with AccuWeather to collect data on what people listen to on the radio during certain weather conditions. Click this icon to change the weather and you will be given a playlist on the left. Now drag one of those songs onto audible visuals, but I'll just use some good old Jake Chut now. Use these keys to toggle and make it look even cooler. Now take this time to relax before this next dong. You'll need it. If your headphones tie themselves into knots tighter than any human on Earth could ever tie, then untangle is great practice on doing this. The timer is ticking away, so you have to move the blue points around until none of the lines cross each other. And it's, uh, woo, it's a little frustrating. Links to all the dongs can be found in the description below. And if you want, there's a playlist right here filled with more dongs. So many dongs right in there. I'm gonna go retreat back into my shell, uh, chill in the middle of a highway, eat some pizza, fight ninjas, you know, turtle stuff. But uh, I'll shell you later.
LOL, LOL, LOL. Don't say that line is literally what is written in the script that Hannah wrote, and I said it. And I even said your little direction to not say that thing. Why? Because I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel turtle. I'm a snapper turtle. Red, red eared. I'm trying to think of a pun. No, I'm just naming turtles. Uh, tortoise. Red horned. Turtle. Shell. And as always, thanks for watching. And, uh, I'll, uh, I'll shell you later. That was all Hannah. She made that pun. She is a talented young individual. Let's all write in the comments how talented she is. You're gonna say, Hey, Hannah, you are so very talented. And then she's gonna respond to every single message with the following. She's gonna say, Thank you so much for your kind words. It really means so much to me to hear from you, such a wonderful, beautiful, loving human being, that you would take the time out of your day to just acknowledge my existence is so meaningful and really pushes me forward to try and do better. And I respect you, and I honor the time that it took for you to not only watch this video, but to leave a comment as well, so thank you.